the rails on this are six meters long. Uh, if you want to cut a six meter long log though, you need to be able to get the saw out past the end of the log so that you can swing the saw blade over. To enable you to do this, the sawmill comes standard with a set of track extensions. The only sawmill that it does not come standard with is the 614. All the other mills come standard with the track extensions. And just simply slide it in. Bring the track stop over now. And, and draw it back until the, the bolt slips through the hole. If, you've, if you tighten that up too tight, when you go to pull this out, all you're going to do is bend this area back in here. Leave it a little loose, gives you the ability to spring it. You do not need to put a nut on there. If, when you're using this, if you wish to um, take this bit of play out of here, all you need to do is slip another bolt in through there, put your nut on the end. You don't need to tighten this, you don't need to place a nut on here. Just a, a, a nut and bolt through that point there and that'll take all the side and play out of it. If you're only dealing with short logs, you do not need to put your track extensions on. When you're not using the track extension, just, just stop here. Um, you don't take it off. You should never take this off. Always leave it attached to the rail. Uh, just simply drops down and this, allows, this becomes your track stop to stop the trolley from rolling off the edge. When you want to put your track stops on, or your, sorry, your track extension on, bring that up out of the way. Slide your track extension in. Slip that out. Just slide that around until it locks into place. Now we've got all the end frames together and the track's on. Um, it's now time to put the power head on. So you just simply wheel the power head into, into the sawmill on the end frames. Stop these little legs off the end here. Lower it down so that the um, roller is sitting on the tracks. Wind it up until it sort of picks up on the other track there. Once it's, once it's picked up the other track, just go over and check and make sure that all the rollers are lining up. If you find that it hasn't went, lined up with the, um, the rail, just simply flick it a little bit and it'll fall onto place for you. Once you've done that, move the motor away from the trolley brake, lift the trolley brake up, bring him around, drop it onto there like that. That'll stop it from sliding down the hill when we continue to wind up. But now that we've got the sawmill up on top of the tracks, the next thing we've got to do and the most important thing that we have to do is, is make sure that the two tracks are now parallel. We don't want any twist in the two tracks. The reason we We've got to get the tracks parallel is so that all four rollers are, are running along the track. At the moment, this is, this is not parallel and you can see over on this far corner here that, that we're not sitting down on the track. If you haven't got all four rollers running along the track, when you start sawing, you're going to, you're going to find that the saw is going to want to pull this corner down and pull twist into the saw and give you all sorts of sawing problems. So what we've got to do now is just wind this all up so that the power head's above the log. Same the other end. Now the, the saw will operate in a downhill position or an uphill position, no worries. It'll also work on the side of a hill where it's leaning left to right. But as I was saying before, we really must get all the twist out of the two tracks. So we put the power head in the middle, we step back out to the side, and I tend to run my eye across the top of the track in front of me and along the bottom of the track behind. And, and if you do that, you can quite easily see there's quite a low spot just over here on the left-hand side. So I come back over here, I find myself a stick of some sort, lift up, roll it in. What you can do here, if you find that that's a little heavy, you can move the power head right down to the other end. As you can see, we're on quite a hill. Now we step back and have another look. Now that's looking pretty good. All right, so, so once you've got your, your tracks all parallel, that's it, she's all ready to go. Now all you need to do is set up so it's parallel with the log. 
There are no levels with this. It can work like this, it can work like that, as long as the two tracks are parallel.